the land, and we are going to uh, work with you. Already, um, our focus is to build 32,000 uh, units for our security sector. We know that that is not adequate, but it is a first step as we modernize our um, housing program for our security agencies. And therefore, we want to match our word with what we are doing so that this sector that provides and underwrites our collective security and stability as a nation is better resourced to be able to discharge their mandate. Let me also say that as we move forward with these reforms, I want to urge each one of you to be fully on board and to join in mobilizing the people of Kenya to take part in this transformative journey. The success of this initiative does not just depend on the actions of the government, but also on active participation and strong support from every segment of our society, from policy and strategic leadership to local community leaders, and from our brave men and women in uniform to the citizens that they serve. Out of the realization that everyone has a role to play, we shall employ an all of society approach to the implementation of this strategic framework. Let us therefore work closely together and complement one another to create an environment where our police, prisons, and youth services are not only respected and trusted by the people, but also integral to the communities that they serve. This is how we, will, we shall build a future where these institutions symbolize integrity and justice. I take this opportunity to affirm my full commitment to oversee these reforms and ensure that they are implemented to achieve the transformation of our security services into models of public trust and efficiency. Together, we have an opportunity to collaborate and to make sure that these reforms go beyond mere changes in policy and deliver meaningful improvements that will endure and inspire generations that will come after us. And I want to respectfully ask all the other arms of government, our parliament, our judiciary, independent institutions, to support these policy changes that we are making to our security sector, because the security sector is the guarantor for our democracy and rule of law. It is not possible for us to enforce the rule of law and to guarantee our democracy if our security sector is not up to its responsibility and mandate. And therefore, a whole of government approach in reforming our security sector making sure that the institutions in our security sector have the requisite institutional backbone and framework to support um, its modernization and the requisite tools and capabilities to undertake this huge and sacrosanct responsibility, but also the men and women who serve serve under terms and conditions that inspire them to um, uh, discharge their responsibility. It is our collective uh, duty as a nation to support because our democracy is dependent on respect for the rule of law. And the rule of law is guaranteed by making sure that we have men and women who make sure that each and every one of us keeps to the straight and narrow and respects the rule of law. A country without respect for the rule of law will not 
and cannot guarantee itself as a democracy. Democracy runs on the engine of the rule of law. And that is why it is necessary for us to collectively and as a society and all arms of government support um, the security sector in making sure that they have the requisite capabilities to be able to undertake the responsibilities that they have been assigned. If we do this together, present and future generations of Kenyans will experience, appreciate and celebrate the fruits of your commitment to the institution of sound, effective, professional and ethical national security institutions that will guarantee peace and security as the foundational enablers of Kenya's economic transformation. It is very clear to me that together we can achieve this. And um, I want to ask all of us to work together selflessly for the good of the nation. I am acutely aware that the National Police Service is an independent institution, and so is the judiciary. But ultimately, we have one master, the people of Kenya. And we must make sure that we work together towards serving not interests of individuals, but the collective interest of the people of Kenya. And therefore, I want to ask for more collaboration, more working together, that the independence that we respect and enjoy must also look at how together, interdependently, can work towards achieving the greater interest and the greater good of uh, the people of Kenya. Um, so I really want to ask for a much more harmonious um, engagement and relationship uh, between our different um, arms of government and also our different independent institutions so that we keep focus not on what is good for one sector, but what is good for the greater good of uh, the people of Kenya. Because that way, we will be serving the interest of the Kenyan people. We must, by all means, defend our democracy and the rule of law. We must ensure that we also defend our independent institutions. But we must also ensure that we work together towards the common good of uh, the people of Kenya. And that requires leadership that appreciates that our independence is for purposes of making sure that we serve the people of Kenya. It is not independence for any other purpose. It is for making sure that we draw the lines for us to operationally uh, work towards working for the people of Kenya. And I want to ask for greater understanding, greater accommodation, greater um, um, uh, intergovernmental and interagency uh, collaboration for us to achieve what is good uh, for the people of Kenya without necessarily um, uh, disagreements that can uh, jeopardize the greater good of the people of Kenya. So with this, I am very confident that the transformation, the institutional changes we are going to make, the policy changes we are going to make, the improvement in terms of uh, um, conditions for service, and the whole capabilities and equipment and tools that will be made available to our security sector 
will help in making sure that our country continues to be a country based on the rule of law and that also protects our democracy and the rights of every uh, Kenyan. So I am very happy to be part of this occasion. I want to ask uh, the chair and the members of the committee that will be charged with this implementation that I will be keeping tabs on the progress to make sure that what has happened with many task force reports, the famous gathering dust in some places, does not happen to this report. My very best wishes. Thank you very much, and God bless you.